everyone, welcome to victoriapiking.com and today I'm going to make this amazing sweet prawn dish. I was absolutely inspired by this uh, food presentation that I saw in land and it was just amazing. I will add uh, footage in the end and the chef that made it did it absolutely amazing. I changed a little bit the recipe from his, but it's pretty similar idea. And uh, stay tuned, you have to see it, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it just looks like art on the plate. And I used, uh, he used and I used the chives flowers that now are in season, and it's just amazing, amazing. I can't get over how excited I am to share the recipe with you. So, stay tuned. For this recipe, I'm using fennel greens. Uh, not the bulb, you can use the bulb, but fennel greens are fragrant and are beautiful and looks amazing. Finally chop it. Take your wok or some kind of deep dish and add oil with high smoky po uh, point, like ground nut oil or um, grapeseed oil and add to the skillet, to the wok about tablespoon or so now I'm adding chili in just to flavor the oil and garlic as it is I want just the oil be flavored with those aromas then I will take them out Now take them out and all the flavors are inside the oil, you see, add your fennel green to the oil and let it dissolve in oil, it should be, smell amazing. Since fennel has this sweet aroma to it, add a little bit of honey or I'm adding a little bit of uh, maple syrup, syrup, this is natural maple syrup and it has this smoky, slightly molasses flavor to it. It's amazing, it's going to shine all of the prawns later. Add a little bit of lemon zest, just to make it more fragrant. And add your prawns. Add your prawns. I am beheaded them, but you can leave the head on or never throw away the head. They are going to be excellent uh, soup base. Now mix them together. They are going to be just amazing with all of those greens florets of chives those are amazing beautiful florets you can add just chopped chives that will be absolutely okay and spritz of lemon juice just a tiny bit mix all together I think it's pretty much it it's going to cook for about four minutes or until they become all uh, pink and not translucent and that's it you can eat it slightly, slightly bit of salt just a little bit and you're good to go let's dish it such a beautiful 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 dish this is art on the plate Okay, I have to try it. And I'm going to try the florets. They're so, you see? They're so sweet. You see, you see how it looks after my family tried it? They left me only four. Everything else has been eaten. So, you know, and I couldn't even uh, do nothing. They told me, okay, you need to do the, you know, the test taste. 
so leave it for yourself to, to the video, you know, and we will eat the rest. So that's how it looks with the chili pepper. So knock yourself out pretty much, mommy. You can enjoy it. So, so it's really good. So now I'm going to try the floret. Now I know why they want it so much. Okay. Oh, so good. This is sweet. And the, the floor, the onion flavor is... <coughs> and the onion flavor is very, very much incorporated in the sweet molasses flavor of maple syrup. And it's amazing. Mm. It's just amazing. You know, I had to try this one as well. You need... Hey! Hey, you! You need to feel it, though. But still, oh, it looks like a like bug, bugs of the sea, which I love. Okay. Now I know why they didn't left me much. Really, really good. It's sweet. The anise flavor is incorporated inside. The fennel gives all this amazing, the sweet and sour and lemon and etc. and chili. Exactly what you need. So, I hope you enjoyed the idea. And you know, as usual, don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up, here, and cheers, Victoria. Love you all. See you next time. By the way, you know what I say. Share my videos with all your friends and family. Love you. See you next time. Bye.